Hello everybody, what is up? My name is Killsteam. We are back with another new Black Ops 4 Let's Play part number 10, the finale, the final, the ending cutscene of the Black Ops 4 campaign. So let's go ahead and get to the final specialist character, which is going to be Torque. Now last time, we seen here on the phone with somebody, and it sounded like Menendez, Your but it probably wasn't him, torque. but... And she was explaining, I guess, somebody was compromised, and he said all of them. So I'm not sure if she's talking about the specialist, because I don't think she's good. And I am getting suspicious that she, like, killed her uh, own sister, because she was at the, the, the scene and stuff and everything like that. And she wants that, that kid really bad. She was at the scene where she died, by the way. Basically... You make real but, uh, easy for we're gonna find out after this. Nightmare for the and all the specialists like ruin the battery getting suspicious ah, of what's there. going on. Charlie needs to get through that doorway. <gasps> we need to fuck up his day. Charlie. <laughs> the razor Vietnam. Wire, baby. All right. Ah, this guy. He's my new favorite meal. Shredded dipshit. <clears throat> Take him out. Oh, oh, and don't forget, he's gonna need a new diaper. Since WW1, that has been a shitty way to go. Now. Good things come to those who wait, like razor wire in two locations at once. All right. Okay, let's teach him not to run in the house. Why? Sweet. Now razor the server room entrance. And remember, always put this shit in spots they can't see or avoid. Now sit back. Lenny's gone fishing. Gonna catch himself some dummy fish. All right. Ah, shoot that stuck on bastard. Hey, they're like six bucks. Now, I hope that lesson will stick around for a while. <laughs> I got a made up. <laughs> okay. Right, let's open that That's a little cringy woods, not gonna lie. Get to the next marker. Alright. Now, beneath the window, set a trap with your happy wire. You are a goddamn natural at snagging shit. Get some target practice. Uh, oh. Okay. Smoke him like a secret cigar. So, maybe you're in a tough spot, man. But it's not hopeless. You have barricade to cover your ass. And not only does it offer self-preservation, but it's got a radiation field that works like a human snowplow. Let's go, Red. Barricade up. Got shit to do. All right, right here. Microwaved bogeys, just how we like them. Impaired and sluggish. Ooh, knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> he had the car keys. Now they're all stuck. Use the barricade for cover, man. Clean this shit up. <sighs> well, that sucks. Who are we gonna kill now? Get to the next OM. This party's dead, man. Oh shit, the enemy's got a granddad too. Just drop some wire on us. Granddad. That All shit right. ain't magic, man. You can take it out with your gun. But I got a better idea. Yeah, there Let's we go. An RPG. An RPG. Okay, nice piece of real estate, right? We like it. Let's keep it. Oh, Use man. what you learn for the down payment. Look, it's a shit neighborhood over there. Backside coverage is good. Hey, turn around. Now some genius is gonna think it's a good idea to bum rush the path, right? <laughs> so let's raise the shit out of it. Man, the property value just doubled. Sweet. The enemy wants to destroy your equipment. You should not let them. So, listen to the plan. Watch your flank. <laughs> you see that? Alright, they can't come through there, I guess. You better protect the razor wire. Your barricade, man. Watch your wall. Ah, nothing like a fresh cooked foe. May oh. I have another? <sighs> your barricade can't take the punishment, man. It's my low bid supplier. Last time I'm telling you, man. Hey, easy there, Spark. This shit ain't even close. Damn straight. You stopped him. 
Both the team and your gear appreciate it. No, no, no. Don't get weird with this. All right, sounds good. All right, we got friendlies here taking up defensive positions. An attack is imminent. Big one. You got weak spots. Patch right. them up. Uh... Use what you learn. Defend yourself. Here they come. Hold your ground. are all down. Enemy force massing for a final assault. Without reinforcements, you are fucked. All right, take a breath. It's hero time. You need a strike team. You earn one with a score streak. Hit the score limit without the uh, It's yours. You die. Okay, this is the last time we'll ever do this. Try again. Go. Sounds good, man. Enemy attack on the barricade. You know what to do. Charlie hates that boy. He's gonna take it out. Oh, holy fuck. Oh my god, you can't go down here. Hold on. Fucking left. Get to that barricade. Strike team standing by. Yeah, baby, look up there. Nice. All we need now is that song by Baku. Yeah, man, you, you made that happen. My fucking hero. Uh, okay. Fuck, there's a lot of dudes. Tour. No time, huh? Keep working. We'll bust through. And look, I meant what I said. You are my hero. What's out? Oh, you hey, are hey, my hey, hero. Hey. Why is that? Thank God, it's always been you in there, though. <laughs> I'm fucking claustrophobic. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the infamous Corporal Kieran McKay. Aye, that's me. Impressive record. Multiple commendations for engineering excellence. With reprimands for insubordination, failures of discipline, and willful destruction of army property. Well, I don't always think things through. It says here that you're serving three weeks for hospitalizing your CO. Care to talk me through it? <laughs> Bunch of rookies on base, barely three days in. Failed surprise inspection. That ray of sunshine decided the best way to teach them the error of their ways was to run them into the ground. Two of them developed hyperthermia. Figured I'd give him a dose of his own medicine. Oh, or shit. Or at the very least, a dose of some of the strongest bowel unblockers I could find in the infirmary. That fucker got to do some running of his own that night. Never could stand bullies. Well, Corporal McKay, I've got a proposition for you that I think will be mutually beneficial. All right, so All that right, was that. Death match. Do not overthink this man. Just kill the enemy. That was her just recruiting Torque, I guess, to the specialist program or, or operation. Watch your buddy Six. We'll be watching yours. And yeah, guys, I'll see you right after Reach this team death match. I'll see you guys there. Boom. All right, First there. That is that. Yo, yeah, my team actually went off. Not gonna lie. And how do these people have spaces in their names? Like, look at this shit. Like, what? I mean, is that a space? It kind of looks like it. Good effect. All right.
Yeah, I actually got sniped two times, and it pissed no me off. No one gives a fuck about you. Oh, here we go. You're a number, an asset, a pawn in someone else's game. The fuck? How are you? There's no time. They're here. What the fuck? They're here. Your exits are compromised. Find another way out. What the fuck is going on? I'm sending you a safe house address. Make sure you aren't followed. The specialists are dark. Are they still alive? Who wants us dead? It's that woman. They've been manipulating you. Watching you. Exploiting you. Wait, that's a guy? And when they get what they want, oh, no, that's they'll talking. leave you for dead. Wait. Lucy, this is Tony. Who is Jessica? it? Oh! <gasps> you... No way, she's alive! Alone, you can put up a fight. But together, you can start a war. Bro! That's crazy. So the entire time, she was alive and she was the one talking to them and stuff through the phone. Okay, so... What the fuck? Sticks. Angola. Sorry, kid. No. It's you in the box. It's always been you. Don't black out, man. I'm on it. What? What? What the fuck is going on, yo? What the fuck? Yo, wait, what? Hold on. What? Wait, 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 what? It's you in the box. Sergeant Frank Woods mourns the loss of fallen subjects. What did he write? Go find out. Go find out from where? Oh my god, I am not gonna go get all that intel, dude. Mourns the loss of fallen subjects. What did he write? He was talking about... Wait, who's on that thing? Wait, this is an asylum. Thanks. Angola. Angola. Sorry, kid. No. It's you in the box. It's always been you. Don't black out, man. I'm on it. Yo, wait, what is going on, bro? What is going on? Dude, this is like, it feels like Black Ops 1 all over again, bro. Like, Woods and Mason, the duo are back. Like, did they get, like, brought back to life or something, man? Bro. That's fucking cool. And I guess here... Watch this no again. No one gives a fuck about you. You're a number. An asset. A pawn in someone else's game. Okay, so... Everything you know is wrong. Oh, wait, wasn't the Black Ops thing like that? Everything you know is wrong? Or, what was what was the Black Ops 4 thing? Wasn't it like that? It was something like that. Everything you know isn't like, isn't like that. I think it's like that. Everything you know is wrong. Black Ops 4. That was like the uh, advertising or something like that. Okay. Alright, so she's bad, obviously. They all come together. They want to stop her because she's manipulating them. But then Mason and Woods, wait, what? They come out of nowhere and they're in asylum. Wait, what? This makes no sense. They're in asylum, um, Verrucked. And it makes no sense. And it looks like they're in blackout because the background. It looks like blackout, doesn't it? Thanks. 
Gola. Sorry, kid. No. It's you in the box. It's always been you. Man, Gola. Don't black out, man. I'm on it. Don't black out, man. Is he like report is he like talking about a blackout? Dude, what is going on? There is a big thing going on here, yo. There is something big going on. I want to know what it is. He said, don't black out. They're in asylum. It looks like it's the background of the blackout map. And how are they alive? I, I kind of understand what's happening here. They're going to go fight the girl and stuff. And that kind of leads to Black Ops 3 and everything like that. And I guess I think they kill her or something like that. That's in Black Ops 3. But that was just like a prequel to Black Ops 3. This storyline. But then it's you in the box. And he's mourning fallen subjects, which I have no idea what he's... Go find out. Who's he? Sticks, Mangola. What is that map, man? Is that blackout? Those people, who are they? Sticks. Looks Angola. like woods, maybe. Sorry, kid. No. It's you in the box. It's always been you. In the box? What do you mean? Don't black out, man. Yo, what the fuck is going on, dude? Guys, this is fucking nuts. I don't know what's going on. But if I ever get, like, some solid info on, like, I guess people, if they solve it or something like that, I guess that maybe you get more info from that way. All right, and I'm going to go watch some videos, and I encourage you guys to do the same. But right now, I am kind of confused on what's happening with Woods and Mason doing in Blackout. Is this, are they referring to Blackout? And I guess in Blackout, maybe if you get the characters or some big Easter egg going on in Blackout? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I have no idea. But Jessica was alive the entire time. And the girl got returned to Jessica. And the blonde lady's bad. So that, that story's kind of wrapped up. But how the fuck does Woods and Mason actually come into play, like, in real life here? Is it a simulation? Is Blackout an entire simulation? Maybe that's why. So many possibilities, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Red Dead 2 comes out very, very soon, everybody. Hit the like button down below. Comment and subscribe for more awesome Black Ops videos. I'll see you guys there. Peace out, everybody.